Peace and love. Assalamu alaikum. So this video is about suicide prevention and it's the most important video that I will ever make on this YouTube channel. And I wanna talk about it because I am seeing so many videos supporting, justifying, honoring, glamorizing, glorifying, celebrating, romanticizing Aaron Bushnell's suicide. And I'm seeing Muslims do this. And I'm talking about top dog Muslims. Muslims who are YouTube influencers, who influence Muslims all the way down to the non-Muslim who is a liberal. And I'm seeing the liberal media do it, calling Aaron Bushnell's suicide self-emulation. But for the liberal media, okay, they're corrupt. But when a Muslim does it, a top dog Muslim, a imam, justifies suicide, when suicide is clearly a sin in Islam, that Muslim, I don't care who they are, is wrong and should be ashamed of themselves, period. They may be influencing a copycat. In other words, they may encourage someone to commit suicide. Now, when you try to understand Aaron Bushnell's suicide, you can clearly see that he committed suicide to escape his guilt. This is clear in the statement when he says, I will no longer be complicit in genocide. He has guilt. He's suffering. He's in pain, in anguish, in agony. And to escape that, he killed himself. But Muslims are not talking about that part. They're honoring what Aaron Bushnell did. They're glamorizing it, glorifying it, celebrating it, romanticizing it. And they should be ashamed of themselves. And whether they want to know it or not, whether you believe me or not, they are working for evil, unwillingly. They don't even know it. They are in shaitan's trap, period. Shaitan wants death. Evil wants death. So the same evil that caused Aaron Bushnell to commit suicide is the same evil that had Hamas kill innocent Israelis. And it's the same evil that is allowing Israel to commit genocide. It's all one evil. You can't pick and choose which evil and say Aaron Bushnell's suicide was heroic. He was a hero, he was a martyr. No, Aaron Bushnell was a man in pain, in anguish, in agony. He was suffering and to escape that, he committed suicide. And if you are on YouTube or on Twitter or X, or on TikTok, and you see a video that supports Aaron Bushnell's suicide, know that that video is coming from the energy of evil. It wants you to support death. It wants you to support how evil had Aaron Bushnell disfigure his body, burn his body, and die. That's what evil wants. And any Muslim who supports that in any way, calling Aaron Bushnell a hero or a martyr, you are wrong. And you should be ashamed of yourself 
because you may be creating a copycat. Aaron Bushnell was suffering. Aaron Bushnell was in pain. Aaron Bushnell was in agony. Aaron Bushnell was in anguish. He was filled with guilt. And again, this is clear when he says, I will no longer be complicit in genocide. And what he did to escape this, he killed himself. And if you cannot understand that, and you call Aaron Bushnell a hero, a martyr, or anything that glamorizes what he did, you are wrong and you work for Shaitan, period. Unwillingly, you can be forgiven, ask God to forgive you, but know that you are wrong. And anyone who hears a Muslim support Aaron Bushnell's suicide in any way, whether it's your imam, whether it's your favorite YouTuber, whether it's your friend, tell that person you are wrong. I don't care if your imam is 70 years old and you want to show him respect. Say, yo, you are wrong. Shame on you. Slam.